Y'all get ready. Yes, you get Y'all ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey you guys, I hope you guys are doing good. So I just got back from my youngest son's basketball game. We've had tournaments all day today. But while I was at the tournament, I got word that it was a bunch of mess that went down between Nicki Minaj and Meek Mill. And so we posted on my Instagram page. And then one of my sources DM me and she was like, um, I need to tell you the truth about what happened. I'm really pissed off because of what the shade room is posting. So she started sending me all the tea, honey, okay? So if you guys don't know, this is what the shade room and TMZ are reporting. So the shade room is saying, whoo, Chile. <laughs> yes, I know it's child, okay? They're saying, whoo, Chile. Meek and Kenneth Petty were seen on camera having a little verbal altercation inside a clothing store in West Hollywood. We have the tea on what really happened, and it's Lipton. Honey, everybody swear they got the tea. Bye. Then they go on to say, apparently Meek was shopping at Mayfield with about 10 of his boys when Nicki Minaj and Kenneth walked into the same store. Nikki and Kenneth came alone. Our sources tell us that Meek approached Kenneth to try and squash the beef ongoing between them, but Kenneth was not, was not on that type of timing at all. Our source, who was a witness to the confrontation, tells us that Kenneth wanted Meek to keep the same energy he's always had and asked Meek to step outside and handle things one-on-one. -on -one. Well, the situation escalated and Meek's boys started getting involved. They went outside and apparently Meek wasn't here for a one-on-one. -on -one. He was heard saying, I'm a boss, when Kenneth asked for a one-on-one. -on -one. Eventually, things diffused once security got involved. I'm going to go ahead and play you guys a clip that went viral on TMZ and on The Shade Room. Go ahead and check this out. There's 50 people outside. Look. You know, there's 100 people outside. Stop talking. That's not my vibe. That's not my vibe. Stop. 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 All right, so you guys just saw the clip. So anyways, old girl ended up DMing me, and so she was telling me that her one of her friends works at the store. We're not going to say if it's a guy or girl. For all we know, the person is non-binary, bitch, okay? We'll just call them they because, you know, they still want to keep their job, right? So one of her friends works at the store, and her friend is the one who sold the tape to TMZ, and TMZ paid her a pretty penny. Not as much as she could have gotten, but they gave her enough for that audio, right? So she told them the story, but, of course, TMZ in the shade room totally twisted it around. So her friend told her friend to contact me because she knew me and her were cool. So I'm going to go ahead and read you guys the DMs that she sent me. Go ahead and check this out. Let me give you the scoop. Meek was there first with his crew. They were shopping and Kenneth and Nikki pulled up. The store people told Nikki Meek is in the store also. That's when Nikki starts saying, there's, fi there's 50 people outside. We're good. Then Kenneth says, nah, there's 100 people outside. So then Kenneth starts talking more crazy and saying, ain't no, and she says N-word because she's not black, but I'm going to just say the real word because I am black. So then Kenneth starts talking more crazy, saying, ain't no nigga finna come and speak to you. That's when Meek says, ain't no nigga talking to her no more. And Kenneth says, let's have a one-on-one. -on -one. And Meek says, ain't no talking to me one-on-one. -on -one. So that's what really happened. Meek Mill was not walking up to Kenneth Zupetti scared and trying to squash the beef. Kenneth Zupetti and Nikki were talking crazy and Meek Mill was just responding back to them. So then she goes on to say this. She says, I have the video of Wretch saying that Nikki and Kenneth started talking crazy first. He was there. He took pics with both of them. The shade room is lying through their teeth. So then I asked, I said, well, how do you know all of this? Were you there? Do you have video? So then she says, the boy was on live and my friend works there. They gave me the rundown. They said Nikki seemed mad once they said Meek was there.
Now, she had stated in the DMs what that person's gender was, and I had slipped up in the prior video. That's why I'm re-recording and re-editing it. Um, there were several people there that day. It wasn't just, like, one person. So they're not going to be able to narrow it down, but I just want to keep all people who send me tea, I want to keep them safe. So that's why I want to make sure to reiterate, you know, they and not say if it was a guy or a girl, but there were several of each gender there at the store. But I just don't want to specify which one because I don't want to risk anybody's job. OK, not for no tea anyways. Then she proceeded to send me pictures of Kenneth Zupetti's crew. These are the dudes that Kenneth Zupetti runs with. These are his homeboys. And at the same time, his homeboys were writing this on Instagram and she was taking screenshots. So the one dude that is Kenneth's best friend says, you rapper niggas keep playing. We going to see hashtag family ties, hashtag winner's box. Then his other friend says this. Heard Big Bro had your whole team shook dolo in that store. Just him and wifey. And then she says, these are Kenneth's best friends. They both posted this as soon as the altercation happened. No one believed Wretch, but he was not lying and my friend confirmed it. And then she sent me the pictures of Wretch and Nikki and Wretch and Mick Mill. And she says, this is Wretch. I'm sending you the video of where he's saying that Nicki Minaj started talking crazy. As promised, here are the pics and videos. And she says, P.S. I'd have my friend tell you, but they're not trying to get fired. They are the ones who sent the vid to TMZ. So then this is the video of um, Wretch talking about it on live. Nigga me, you know what I'm saying? We chopping it up. Everything was all love. You feel me? Boom. I see the nigga Nicki Minaj boyfriend, but I'm blind as hell. Everybody know that about me. And I seen Nicki, but I'm blind as hell. I wasn't even paying attention, you feel me? So then the whole commotion done started, you know what I'm saying? After me and my boy was just chopping it up, you feel me? So, nigga, it's me. Nicki knew nigga talk a crazy nigga like he want to fight. But you already know, you know, Meek had the goons with him. So basically she's saying is that... Once they find out that Meek Mill was in the store, Nikki was really pissed off and agitated. They're basically trying to get loud to let Meek know, like, we're in the store. We got people outside. We're not leaving. We're not running scared. But the manager wanted them to know. So that way they didn't just happen to run into Meek while they're in the men's section. So that's why the manager ran to let Nicki Minaj know. And then at that point, that's when they started getting loud and crazy. Meek heard. And Meek was basically responding back to both of them. And they're saying that Kenneth has a right to be mad because Meek Mill was low-key dissing him by saying that he walks around in Balenciaga's with bootcut jeans. <laughs> this whole situation is crazy. Y'all go ahead and check this out. You supposed to be my Beyonce now. You this nigga fiance? What? The fuck you mean you feel a connection? He listen to you. What? This nigga with Balenciaga with bootcut jeans. So people are saying that that's why Kendra Zupetti is mad at Meek. But my thing is, Nicki Minaj has also said some things about Meek Mill as well in her songs. Nick Tech. I got more slaps than Aretha. When you lose the queen, niggas friendly, dog. It was just back to back like Wembley, dog. So they both have thrown shade at each other, okay? So now, that's not crazy enough. If you guys remember, um, when Kenneth was starting to holler at Nikki, he had a girlfriend called Redbone No. So now, as of today, Redbone No is also posting about the altercation. So this is what Redbone No had to say. Check this out. So Redbone No says, people be doing a lot of screaming and can't even fight. So that's what she had to say about the whole situation concerning um, Zoo Petty and Nicki Minaj. So this entire situation is crazy, but they wanted me to get the story out there and to tell it how it played out. Meek Mill was not running up to them, trying to, you know, converse with them and trying to make amends. Meek Mill was minding his business. The manager went to go tell Nicki and Kenneth that Meek Mill was there, and then that's when they started spazzing out. Either way, I'm glad that the situation did not escalate and that nobody was hurt. All these people are way too old, got way too much money, and got way too much going on with themselves to be involved in any of this fuckery in the first place, okay? Meat Mill got a whole baby on the way. Nicki Minaj just got married. They need to focus on their new relationships and move on with the rest of their lives, okay? So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Let me know your thoughts on this entire messy situation, honey. Once again, concerning Nicki Minaj and her boyfriend, Kenneth Zupetti, and the misinformation that the shade room was putting out there. Um, now that the correct info is out there and everything is broken down, how do you guys feel about this situation? Do you feel like Nicki Minaj and Kenneth should have just left? 
or they could have stayed in there, but why show out and be loud and, you know, carry on? How do you feel about this whole situation, you know, in general, how everything went down? So let me know your thoughts and everything. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the thumbs up. And most importantly, don't forget to hit the notification bell so that way you can down with the notification squad. Let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. All right, deuces.